Hey, welcome back to Terry Hill Farm. Well, we're living two steps, up, one and a half steps from off grid now. We got some solar panels working. We built a affordable, adjustable solar panel mount for 12 solar panels. It costs thousands of dollars less than the pre-made systems that you can buy. So let's take a look. We have purchased a pallet of panels for new solar panels to produce power, and we've managed to get uh, a dozen of them up so far. And they're doing miraculously well. These are uh, the SEG 405 watt bifacial panels that supposedly do up to 550, 75 watts, something like that. I've been able to get about 440, 450 out of them so far. Tops, pretty good. I'm, ha I'm happy with the panels. The price was right, and uh, they all came unbroken so right now that's the sound of free electricity well it's not really free but anyway we're doing 3.8 kilowatts of uh, power through those 12 panels uh it's it's got up to about 42 4300 at a uh, peak but uh you know for december that's not bad and uh still running with five of the live powers uh got another one on the way to finish it all up with six so uh, 91% of uh, the EG4 communications hub is making it where I can monitor all these all these batteries, check the cells, check everything. So that's a really nice deal for 100 bucks. So one of our big challenges out here is the fact that we've got a lot of trees and they're all blocking some of our best solar angles. So we looked all around trying to find the best spot to put solar panels and we'll try a couple, but None of them are big enough to put a full array, so we're we're gonna we're gonna do a a couple of different arrays, uh, and maybe break them up between due south, a little west, a little east. You know, try to get a more even presentation of uh, power throughout the day. So we took the first 12 panels, and we found a spot right here, and this is the array we built for these panels. And this was a kind of a experiment in progress. We were able to get these panels up and running. And like I said, they're doing pretty good. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the power for being uh, in the middle of December. We're getting probably 80 to 85% power. The way we mounted these basically was we just took these six by six heavy timbers and sunk them into the ground about five feet with concrete and then came back around with the unistrut. And we used the uh, 12 and 14 gauge unistrut in different, different method. And uh, we're able to mount the panels. The, the uh, panels, three of the panels are a little bit more than 10 feet. So we just spliced on the end there, as you can see. So far, so good. I, you know, I, there's a few things I'd like to do to, to strengthen this thing up for a tornado. And I've got some work left on my wiring, obviously. But you know, having an adjustable rack with 12 panels uh, like this is, is ideal for, for us. We've got those at a pretty much due south angle we're going to probably go with a, a couple of different types of arrays i ordered some of the bright mounts from uh, signature solar we'll try some of those out see how those work with the, the four panel mounts i've got a uh, pull mount for a six panel uh, array that i'm going to try out so you know i'm just trying to figure out which mounting system is the most efficient for a small amount of panels i just don't think i have the room to get 40 feet long straight array up we'll see how these work pulling all these into a combiner box and then running these back to the, to the house. I've got a total of about 12,000 or so watts of uh, panels. So that should be sufficient for what our use is. We don't use that much, but we'd like to add on some more. We're using the solar as much as we can right now and the grid for a backup. We're running our hydroponics growing in, inside off of them. We run the whole house off of them. The well's not running off of right now, so we've got to hook that up. We've got a couple other things that we're doing, but when you live on a property that's got improvements scattered around a lot of area, it's a little bit more of a challenge to get them all hooked up to an uh, off-grid solar system. We're working at it, and so far, so good. And yeah, the real reason why solar works best for us is that we have unreliable electricity, and we're out in the middle of nowhere where, you know, we need power and uh, if the grid goes down you know it may be a long time before the power comes back on. Solar works perfect for us. We've got plenty of room for panels 
We've got plenty of room for batteries. It's not, we don't have any limitations on space. In this case, I think it's a, it's a great fit. So far, I'm happy. We're getting, you know, a little over four kilowatts uh, an hour uh, during the peak, you know, daytime. And for December, I think that's great. The sun's really low in the sky. In the summer, it's gonna go back up. We'll adjust those panels up and, and pick up probably even more power, but we've got at least three more arrays to put up and tie in together. That's our next project, but I'm really happy to say that right now, we are able to run the house completely off of solar in the wintertime. It's a big, big milestone for us. Hope everybody's doing well out there. I know a lot of my friends on YouTube who are also doing solar or check in with me and show me their stuff. I, I'm really impressed with it. If you have any questions about what we've done, let me know. I'm happy to answer them. I don't have all the answers, but I'll take a shot at it. And uh, like I said, we're definitely not experts. So if we can do this, then DIY solar is an option for you. Hey, if you like solar stuff and you're interested in what we're doing out here on the farm, please take a moment and hit that like button and subscribe. We're trying to build this channel up with lots of interesting stuff that we're doing out here. And we appreciate you coming back to see us every time we post a video. From Cherry Hill Farm, thank you. I'm Michael. We're living two steps off the grid, trying to make it one or less. Talk to you soon. Thanks.